Hello, hello. I mean, it's mad. Right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, really appreciate you tuning into this video. So today I'm doing another microphone review for you guys. This time it's the Murfac Audio TU1 USB condenser microphone. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing, see what we get and do a few audio tests for you. So if you do enjoy the video and find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. So just before we get into the unboxing, I'll just run through a few of the specs with you. Smooth frequency response with high quality condenser diaphragm. So it's a condenser microphone, so it should just pick up the audio going straight into the microphone, not from the sides or back. In terms of frequency response, it says 30 hertz to 20,000 hertz. 30 hertz is plenty low enough for vocal audio, which is what it's mainly going to be used for. So it's plug and play this one. You don't need to, an audio interface in order to plug it into your computer. Just plug straight in via USB port. It's compatible for both Mac and Windows. It's got headphone output so you can monitor in real time with no latency. That's always a bonus. So let's open the box and see what we get inside. Okay. So just take this lid off and we'll see what we get inside the box. So we've got our instruction manual here. Pretty standard, it's got the specs in there. Right, so we've got the pop shield. Pop shield feels okay, fairly robust. It's not squeaky, so that's always a good sign. It's got double-sided mesh on it. Mesh feels quite thin, but it is a budget USB microphone and it'll do the job for any pops and clicks, I'm sure. So that's the pop shield. Got our USB cable. So it's your standard USB to the USB C connection, I think it's called. I think we did this last time. I'm pretty sure it's a USB C, but it's the square one anyway. USB cable feels fairly well made, so it's got it's quite a nice length. Plenty long enough. Here we got the rest of it. So we've got Shock mount. There's not much weight to it, it is quite plasticky, but like I said before, it is a budget USB microphone, so I'm not expecting it to be the best shock mount. Okay, so we've got the desk mount for it. It's quite nicely made, and it will definitely do the job if you wanted to mount it on your desk. We've also got the mic cover. Always good to have one of these. Extra protection against pops, clicks, and this is quite thick actually. It's quite a nice one, so. What else have we got? So we've got another mount here. Again, it's quite plasticky. That's got like a metal attachment here, but the rest of it is plastic. It's got the adapter that you might need for the microphone, so that's cool. And then this would just attach to your desk stand and then you would attach your microphone to this. Comes with a scissor arm attachment as well. This is the clamp for the scissor arm connection. It's all metal, it's quite nice. It's got a nice rubber protector for your desk there, so that's good, stops it scratching the desk. It'd be nice to have one on this bit as well, but they never do for some reason. But this bit's gonna be underneath the desk, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. It feels like it's gonna provide some protection, so that's always good. Okay, so there's your clamp. So here's the actual arm itself. Pretty standard size for this type of microphone. This is all metal. So that's nice. Um, not squeaky, which is good. You are going to get a little bit of squeak because it's a spring design. But no, that feels quite sturdy actually. Like I said, it's all metal apart from there's a few knobs that are plastic, but it feels really well made. It feels quite sturdy. And this is the attachment for the microphone here. And here is the microphone itself. It's all metal. It's quite small. It's got a nice metal connector on the bottom. The buttons a metal and they feel quite nice. There's a little bit of resistance and there's a definite in and out point, which is good. Microphone just screws into the desk mount as 
so there we go so that's how it would attach to the little desk mount just going to set up the scissor arm quickly and then we'll do some audio tests with it so let's just do that now we'll get this scissor arm set up and we'll go from there so clamp just clamps onto the edge of the desk like so that's nice quite a nice sturdy connection there and then the scissor arm just goes in to like so there we go that's the scissor arm connected okay so here's the other end of the microphone and this is where we're gonna attach our shock mount like so unfortunately if I put this because this just pushes into the shock mount like so if you push it all the way into the shock mount it's going to cover some of the buttons now I want to be able to show you what the buttons do so for the purpose of this I'm not going to use this shock mount and that's a bit annoying only really covers the mute button and possibly the headphone input unless I'm doing something wrong then that's just a bit annoying but you do also get the other attachment which is what I'm going to use now just so I can show you how it all works so as you can see so we've got volume we've got echo Ooh, gonna show you that in a minute that's exciting isn't it and then we've got a mute button here that just mutes it on and off so let's plug it in see what the audio sounds like it's all plugged into my Mac now so I'm just gonna switch to the microphone audio now okay so this is the audio coming out of the microphone itself just gonna plug the headphones in okay so now I can hear what you can hear okay so what's the audio sound like so it's really directional is that if I do that you can't hear anything that's mad it's really directional it seems like it does sound like there's some sort of limiter or something inside the actual microphone itself um, the audio sounds a little bit compressed might just made me but that's my first impressions anyway so the audio is okay not amazing but it's not terrible um, perfectly usable you can hear what the audio sounds like this is the raw audio direct from the microphone but yeah it does sound like there's some sort of compression or something going on can't really work out exactly what it is so as soon as you point away from it you can't hear anything so so this is on about half volume so that's not too bad game wise half volume um but yeah and this is the audio quality that you're going to get i don't really need to do the whole directional thing because you can hear it as soon as you go anywhere away from it you can't hear anything so it's definitely directional just pop the mic shield on just see what it sounds like with that on okay so this is with the mic shield on uh sounds a bit nicer actually it was a little bit too crisp without this on so that's quite nice and then i'm just going to use the pop shield just to show you what the pop shield sounds like this is what it sounds like the pop shield and the mic cover so that's what it sounds like one feature that this microphone's got that not many microphones have got in this price range is the echo function let's try it out see what it sounds like hello hello i mean it's mad sounds like i'm in a hall church something like that yeah it's got one of those built into this so if this is your thing you want to sound like this get one of these Something a little bit different probably no good for voiceover audio or anything like that or if you're doing a podcast but if you're doing a bit of gaming just want to jazz it up a little bit and go all the way up to this sound like you're in a massive cathedral or something so that's your thing and you do have this button on here that does that in real time and then you've got the mute function button at the bottom it's green and then when you press it it goes red press it it goes green again so let's just turn the volume all the way up so you can hear what the noise floor sounds like on it okay so that's the volume all the way up there's hardly any noise at all to be fair and that's why i think there might be some sort of limiter or something in there some sort of compression built into the microphone i'm not sure not 100 percent sure but there's definitely something going on because there's there's hardly any noise at all background noise that's just, which is good so there you go that's the volume all the way up so i'm going to switch back to my lapel mic and just give you a quick conclusion okay so what do we think of this here microphone well firstly price wise 
I've seen these for around $55 and £45 in the UK. So crazy cheap for what you get with the scissor arm, desk mount, get the shock mount, the other mount, the microphone itself. Everything you need to set up a microphone for under $60, under £50. Now that's insane pricing. So compared to some of the other microphones I've tried out, the shock mount is a bit plasticky and it's a bit annoying that when you put it in the shock mount, you can't access all the buttons on the actual microphone unless I'm doing something wrong. The scissor arm's fine, USB cable's long enough. Mic itself, like I say, it does sound like it's got some sort of built-in compression or limiter or something going on um, that's doing something to the audio. The audio is fine, you're getting a nice clear signal. You heard what the audio is like anyway. Make your own decisions on that one. Be perfectly fine for streaming, gaming, podcasts, that sort of thing. If you're looking for a really budget microphone with loads of accessories, can't really go wrong with that. You get everything you need. And you've got your echo on there. So if you want to sound like you're in a cave or a cathedral, then get one of these. Why not? That's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've used this microphone before and let me know your thoughts on it. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, video shooting tutorials, all that sort of thing. Got some nice little playlist set up for you so it's easy to navigate around the site. Be great to have some new faces on board, so please do consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed, as always, appreciate you. Please do make sure that notification bell's turned on so I can let you know when new content's released. But that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.